airlift, an element essential to a national strategy which mandates deployment of a balanced military force on an expedient global basis. Airlift provides effective quickness and flexibility necessary for a timely response when and where U.S. interests may be in jeopardy. The Military Airlift Command continuously demonstrates the unmatched ability to transport large quantities of cargo, equipment, and personnel anywhere in the world with superior mission performance and proven effectiveness in support of national policy. Its family of airlifters thoroughly integrated into the worldwide Air Force support system. The Military Airlift Command matches muscle with mobility to put meaning in its motto, the backbone of deterrence. The success of a routine military airlift command mission does not come about without much expertise and skilled work coordinated and executed by teams of dedicated people. For no mission is routine. Each is a unique blend of critical duties involving maintenance, support, and operational functions needed to complete the complex activities related to a worldwide airlift system. It also requires a highly reliable and operationally proven airlifter, such as the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, the free world's largest airplane. Time and time again, this aircraft has demonstrated its exceptional mission performance characteristics, fulfilling unique airlift requirements. The Galaxy was conceived, designed, and built to transport the armed forces' firepower and associated personnel. Its many unmatched features combined to make it one of the most versatile airlifters servicing today's armed forces worldwide. The vast cargo compartment provides more than 2,700 square feet of loadable floor space with a volume of over 34,700 cubic feet. Straight through drive-on, drive-off access, utilizing full-width doors and ramps at both ends of the aircraft, makes backing of vehicles unnecessary and provides the loadmaster with maximum logistical flexibility. The 19-foot-wide main cargo deck is optimized to transport both oversized and outsized cargo and vehicles. The capacity of this functional airlifter includes high-density, high-volume loads, usually not associated with aerial transport. The unobstructed cargo bay allows flexible mixing of vehicles, pallets, cargo, equipment, and troops. Even the tie-down rigging is stored so as not to take up valuable load space. A compartment on the upper deck, forward of the wing, is available for courier personnel or relief crews on long missions. 
73 troops can be transported in the upper deck aft of the wing. These are usually the personnel associated with the equipment being carried below. The landing gear system incorporates a unique designed-in feature that is of great value in the loading procedure. The airplane can be put into a kneeling attitude that brings the main cargo deck floor to truck bed height. In another mode, with the ramp extended, vehicles can be easily driven on or off under their own power. Then when the airplane is loaded, the landing gears can be returned to their normal position for ground operations, taxi, and takeoff. When the C-5 does touch ground, it is borne by 28 wheels, which are configured so as to distribute the weight so evenly that each wheel does not bear as much weight as its smaller transport counterpart. The 28-wheel arrangement spreads the load efficiently, even at high gross weights, so that the C-5 can be operated on some of the same runways as smaller transports. Under unusual circumstances, and with due regard for the quality of the surface, the C-5 can be operated off paved ramps and taxiways. Actual tests prove the aircraft's maneuverability in soft soil, sand, and snow, thus further extending max capability to meet its operational challenges. One of the Lockheed family of versatile airlifters, the C-5 Galaxy is the largest military cargo carrier of the free world. Its effectiveness as a vital segment in the MAX system is proven every day. The massive destruction Mother Nature imposes on mankind from time to time requires massive support to rebuild whole communities. The Military Airlift Command is continually called upon to fulfill humanitarian needs for people of many nations in such times of hardship and distress. In many cases, that support requires the C-5 because of its ability to transport unusually large and heavy loads over long distances and do it rapidly. The giant aircraft has repeatedly demonstrated its capacity to airlift disaster relief supplies to areas ravaged by earthquake, blizzard, and typhoon. In 1976, an earthquake devastated Guatemala. Emergency needs such as medical and water purification equipment were airlifted directly to the affected areas. MAC was called upon to transport outsized telephone switching vans and mobile generators, thereby easing the way for this neighbor in need to restore a semblance of normalcy in the wake of catastrophe. The Galaxy was one of the aircraft called upon to meet the challenge. Communities snowbound by blizzard in New York and Massachusetts welcomed the snow removal and other disaster relief equipment rushed to their rescue by the Military Airlift Command. Trucks, loaders, scrapers, plows, medical support equipment, and desperately needed supplies were carried aboard the C-5s directly to the areas in need. In 1979 brought Hurricane David smashing into the Dominican Republic, leaving thousands homeless and ravaging the land with untold damage. The Galaxy was pressed into service once again to rush relief supplies and equipment to the needy country. 
Helicopters also brought in aboard C-5s were then used to distribute food and medical supplies to otherwise inaccessible interior regions. Again, the crews and their support elements performed yeoman service to make these response missions possible. Desperately needed equipment, too large or heavy for other aircraft, has been rushed to needy areas by this versatile giant, proving again and again its mission performance capability. But the basic role of Mac and its largest airlifter, the job for which it was built, is the rapid transportation of massive military armored equipment, supplies, and associated cargo necessary for warfare. The missions presently being flown, whether military or civilian oriented, serve to keep the people and aircraft in a state of preparedness for any critical contingency. Whenever or wherever a threat to peace might break out, the edge that makes the most critical difference is who can get there the quickest with the most effective fighting force. The C-5's functional loadability and versatility give the U.S. military airlift team that edge. The entire spectrum of military inventory, rolling armored equipment, bridge launchers, bulk cargo, troops, helicopters, anything and everything that the Army ever intended to be airliftable can be transported swiftly and efficiently aboard the galaxy. Jeeps, three abreast, five-ton trucks, side by side. Six attack helicopters, two M1 main battle tanks, six Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, or up to 36 pallets loaded with food, ammunition, or medical supplies, the Army's firepower and support, everyday loads for the versatile giant. With the possibility that access to en route bases might be denied, the C-5's in-flight refueling capability allows operations to be planned and carried out with increased freedom from political decisions of other nations. As a bonus, substantial increases in payload and range can be realized through the use of air-to-air -air refueling. When called for, the Galaxy does not have to trade off payload for fuel. The C-5 avionics allow worldwide navigation and communications, as well as adverse weather capability into conditions as low as 200-foot ceiling and one-half-mile runway visibility. The Lockheed Georgia-built C-5 provides Mac an efficient strategic airlifter offering speed, range, and capacity to deliver large loads of military equipment. Its maximum wartime payload in excess of 130 tons can be airlifted from bases in the United States worldwide.
In the skilled hands of the people of the Military Airlift Command, the C-5 Galaxy remains an important national asset and an integral element of our national strategy, helping to keep airlift the backbone of deterrence.